I need to know everything Who and the what and the where I need everything Art plus Trust I me, own. I hear what you're saying But act like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche with five and a horse, I'm ready for war I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost I need to know everything now you be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in signs to let them and talk up their body. Another one body, that's just how it goes. I got some secrets, I'm shaking imagine. the game so they stay on their toes. Stay in your lane, I to stay on the go. I can't play with the pros and act like a rookie, so they overlook me. They not double up again, none of their nose. None of them cold, they just got lucky but never adapted. So I'm telling the one if it's coming to blows. My enemies cutting it close. I let them think that they got me, but what do you know? I had them beat before we ever spoke. I'm ready for smoke. I mean, having it exist. Right? Okay. How many people in here know when it is next? Some people. How many people in here think that the Bitcoin having is bullish and will lead to a higher price? Okay. How many people in here think that the Bitcoin having is going to lead to a lower price? A couple hands. Now, why is that interesting? We all have the same information. We know that the having exists. We know when it is, but we have a different perspective on what's going to happen. So if I tell you, I can in, in advance tell you next quarter, Apple is going to make $100 billion in profit. Some of you will be like, oh my God, I'm going to go buy Apple stock because that's going to be this great performance. Some of you will take that same piece of information and you will say to yourself, well, I thought they were going to make $120 billion, so they're going to actually miss. And therefore, I should short the stock because I think it's going to go down. The efficient market hypothesis is not real. And the reason why that's important is because the only thing that is real is the market. There is no efficient market. It's an inefficient market of people who come together, who express a view, and they trade. They, they take positions. And so Bitcoin having this free market, if Bitcoin goes down 50% in a day, there's no circuit breaker. There's no stopping it. No one steps in and says, hey, let's hold trading for 15 minutes. Right? I joke with people, like, that's little boy stuff. Wall Street needs those guardrails. This is a free market. And so if you then look at it and you say, hey, <laughs> if, if you then look at it and say, they're sleeping. Over the years that you've been studying Bitcoin, have you seen Bitcoin as a viable solution to some of those currency devaluations or maybe what's happening in Venezuela? Or has it just not gotten the adoption that people thought it would and just fell flat on its face? How many people in here were born in another country or live in another country right now? Right? Anybody? Okay. If you go and you talk to the people in those countries and you ask them, the currency fails, what do you want? Majority of people will say US dollars. In the US, we're like, oh, this dog shit currency, right? Because <laughs> we're all idiots. Like, like, the American experience is so insane to anyone outside of the United States, right? But we're like, oh, this stupid currency. But if you think of somebody in Argentina, they're like, are you guys kidding me? You have the dollar. And so I do think that most people in those countries, that's what they want. They want dollars, right? They want safety. They, they want the full faith and credit of the United States government. Now, what ends up happening is in some countries, like take a Venezuela, uh, and you talk to people on the ground there, they're like, look, it's dangerous to try to get dollars, right? If I go and I put the dollars in the bank account, how do I know tomorrow it doesn't get confiscated? If I go and I try to get it in the black market, sometimes I have to do things that are dangerous in terms of literally physically getting the dollars. And so then, if I get the dollars, I gotta hold the dollars. Well, what if somebody comes to my house and takes the dollars from me? And so in those uh, situations, then maybe people say, you know what, actually Bitcoin may be a better thing. And so back in, I think it was 2019, I, I went on national television, I said the single greatest thing that the United States could do to continue to uh, proliferate the United States dollar around the world is to digitize it. Because guess what happens? If I'm sitting in Venezuela and it's dangerous to get dollars or any other fiat currency in physical form, I go on the internet. And I actually don't want Bitcoin at first. I want dollars. And if there's a digital dollar there, and I can just click some buttons and get dollar exposure, and I don't have to worry about sitting at a local bank, I'm probably going to do that. But the time, we're going to combine two of the panels and have a powerhouse crypto panel. And then we're going to wrap up with a very special guest. He's going to be uh, doing a presentation for you guys that I think will absolutely blow your socks off. So this next panel is going to be a crypto panel to speak about Metaverse and Web3 opportunities, which I think is gonna be one of the biggest spaces to get involved in. Gaming, money, financializing instruments, it's all gonna be as part of that Metaverse and Web3 experience. So we have some special guests here today. We have folks that are representing exchanges, folks that deal with technology and regulation, and folks that are just in the crypto space and are heavily involved in the front lines. 
By having those three different perspectives, you're going to get a full view of how this space works so that you guys can take something away and apply this information in your lives. Cool? All right, this one's going to be about 20, 30 minutes. We'll have a meal, do the presentation, and we'll call it a weekend. I appreciate every single last one of you guys for joining us in this incredible experience, and I appreciate you. I want to say a special thank you to the Chart Addicts team for making this event possible, and again, a special shout out to our sponsors, Top Tier Trader, for helping put this event on. Thank you, everybody from the team. Thank you guys for making this event possible. Let's get it started. You own some Bitcoin or Saldo. You want to hop up here? He said, I bought an Ethereum once. <laughs> All right, we're going to be uh, announcing our moderator for today. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Michaela Silvestri, hosting our next panel for the Metaverse and Web3. Come on, Hello, hello. To merge two topics, crypto changes, metaverse, and web trade. Gonna be full of content, be ready, take notes. Um, and before Porter speaking, please do introduce himself. Long introductions, by the way. Those Among this, we have like over 15 to 20 years of experience in the crypto industry, so very, very excited for moderating this. Well, I'm Emil Machado from Venezuela, so I'm a crypto trader, also for it. But um, I've been building a lot the past year in the Web3 metaverse, and, and yeah, that's pretty much myself. Hi, uh, my name is Susan O, and I've been working on AI and blockchain integration models since 2017. I uh, founded Bunker AI uh, back then. And one of the first use cases for AI and blockchain integration was to crowdsource the tagging and labeling of data. And then I was one of nine people who launched Blockchain Commission for Sustainable Development, which was incubated at the UNHQ uh, in 2018. Hi, my name is Paolo Giri. I do institutional sales for Bullish. We are a crypto exchange. Uh, before crypto, I've been, I had been in the traditional finance industry for over 15 years, and fun fact, if I have ever given one of my clients a heart attack, I was actually able to cure it because I do have a medical doctor degree behind that. <laughs> I'm just here. I'm just here hanging out on stage, guys. I'm not speaking. These are the experts. I'm just here to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I think my, fir my first question goes to... They will be the billion dollar companies here in the future. So as of right now, while once again, seems kind of, you know, not really sure either direction, that's where true building is taking place. So it will be the future whether you like it or not. You know, the world's going to continue to revolve and for those of you that know me, like I live off grid, I'm not necessarily the technology type person, but I do know that there will be an audience for it. You know, gamers will enjoy that aspect of it, of having that real life interaction and, and feeling like they're genuinely there. You know, is that my cup of tea? No, but there will be an audience for it. There will be consumers who will be buying those products. So it's a matter of whether you're there to actually participate. Um, there's ways to financially benefit from it. Uh, you just have to have the education. So you guys are here learning about it, once again, hearing different words, but don't necessarily take uh, you know, what you see from an advertising stance of what the metaverse actually is, right? Like we are the metaverse, we are the products. You know, if we don't go and join it, it can't exist. So I talk about onboarding because they have to onboard all of us into this reality and prove to us that it's better than the earth that we're living in and the heaven on earth that we're living in right now. So. Let these companies build, see what the products are that they've got, and we'll see where it takes us. Yeah, so I remember when I was... Final, unfortunately, I would like to call Roy on stage. Possible? Roy, are you around? Oh, Roy is... Roy, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and applause for Roy. Thank you for making this happen. Thank you. There was one more follow-up. Ladies and gentlemen, can I give a round of applause? Guys, you get a standing ovation for this incredible panel.
a bus boy and he was taking out trash at a restaurant. And now in 2023, he's one of the most recognized names in crypto trading. He's made tens of millions of dollars investing in cryptocurrencies. And his introduction to financial markets and to learning this stuff was while he was learning a new language. He came to the States learning a new language while he was trying to pick up trading. He took Hugh Banks' course and while he was learning English, would be on the train to work, studying the course and studying English at the same time so he could make the most out of that environment. This individual is someone I respect a lot and someone that I look up to. And I want you guys to put your hands together for Emil Machado. Que todo esto es posible que todo este trabajo de hoy sea una realidad. Y es que te voy a descubrir que todos tenemos una voz, pero no esta. Si tú ves que está dentro de ti, esa voz que te dice si estás triste o alegre en el momento clave de tu vida, esa que te dice sigue, sigue, sigue y no te detengas, también es la que te dice lo que está bien y lo que está mal. ¿Cuándo decir sí o cuándo decir no? ¿Cuándo quedarte? ¿Cuándo irte? Si la persona que está al lado tuyo es la correcta o no, si eres feliz o si sabes que simplemente debes comenzar desde cero. Esa voz muchas veces es clara como el agua, otras veces te susurra y apenas la escuchas porque permites que el ruido del mundo o tu propio ego la silencie. Recuerda, esta voz es solo tuya y eres el único capaz de entenderla. Escúchala y recuerda, si lo puedes imaginar, es posible. I'm living my dreams because that guy one day had the chance to take the risk to also follow his dreams. Yeah. So Luceless. Esta fue interesante porque. And the last one I have here as a tattoo. Eh, Ve mi reflejo. Como usted, yo he hecho muchos sacrificios. Like you, I've been passing for too many sacrifices. I didn't see my family for like five years. I still have seven years without seeing my dad. He's is in Venezuela. So, tenemos que hacer que los sacrificios paguen la pena. We have to make those sacrifices worth it. Okay? Ahora, quiero, I'm going to make this part all in English because I want everyone with me. I want you to please for stand up. Everyone, everyone stand up with me. Please. I want you to close your eyes real quick. Close it. I want you to go back to that happy moment when you had your first win. I want you to visualize the first profit, the first crypto investment that went right. Those winnings and those moments that make you happy. I want you to understand that it's possible to be happy and have those reminiscences. I want you to see it, please, see it in front of you. For example, for me, I remember every time that my grandma told me, I'm proud of you, because you're doing this. 
A mí me hace feliz entender eso. It makes me happy to know my grandma, even when she's not here, she's happy from the sky because I know she sees me. Grandma, I love you. Now, I want you to visualize yourself. Where are you going to be in the next FPET Summit? Where are you going to be in the next five years? What is the thing that you would do right now to make you feel proud of yourself the next year, the next five years? I want you to have that picture with you right there. I want you to realize that you're capable to have that dream house, the dream apartment, the dream car. I want you to visualize that if you can imagine that picture, it's because it is possible. If you can imagine that picture, it is possible. If you are successful right now, so picture what is the next level for you. Put it right in front of you, and I want to tell you this. You will do it. You know why? Because we born to be legends. I want you to know that you have a purpose in this life, but it's not the one that you think it is, or it's not the one that you want to have. It's the purpose that God has for each one of us. That is the purpose that's going to take you to realize and achieve those goals. Okay? So once again, if you have that picture in front of you, you will do it. I want you, everyone, open your eyes. Clap the hand of the person next to you and tell me, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And now I want everyone, everyone, look at me. You can do it. If I need it, you can do it. We have dreams. Now, please repeat with me. Put the picture for you. That picture, put it right there and repeat with me. I can. I can. I must. I must. And I will. And I will. I can. I can. I must. I must. And I will. I can. A crate full of heat, an army of fleet, a tank and a jeep, a navy at sea Where they a marine, an ace up their sleeve, a team of marines, a freak on a leash A beast with an appetite Come on, 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 come
ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know I everything. I, I need to know everything. Who and the what and the where. I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, it's five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. Music.